Hi everyone, welcome to Gadgets with German. Today we have a really exciting special episode, one that I've been excited for for a while. It's been long in the making. This is my good friend AJ from iCracked. Uh, and what we're going to do is tear open some iPhones today. We have an iPhone 8 Plus and an iPhone 8. I know AJ and his team from iCracked were in line this morning at the Apple Store in Palo Alto. Did you see Tim Cook there? Yes, we did. Saw Tim Cook there, and uh, we're very grateful to be able to do this live, and we'll have a time-lapse video later on about this. And I cracked, if you break your phone or you need it fixing, they'll come to you and they'll fix it. So check out their website for that. But today, not going to be fixing iPhones. We're going to be tearing them open and seeing the guts about uh, what's inside. And please send in your questions on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Periscope, wherever you're watching this, and we'll answer them either for me or for AJ about the iPhone 8, the 8 Plus, the future iPhone 10, any of the new Apple gear. We'll take your questions, and if you have any questions for AJ and I cracked about the teardown process, we're here. So why don't we zoom into the monitor yep. and rip these open, uh, and I'll step to the side and take some questions. Yeah, let's, absolutely. Let's talk everyone through the, uh, this teardown. Awesome. So we're going to be unboxing both phones and taking off the screens um, and checking out the insides of the phones. And so um, part of what we're really excited about with these new models are wireless charging. So we're going to be looking at the components that allow you to do wireless charging as well as um, fast charging, which is um, supposed to be up to 50% faster when um, charging your devices. So in order to start, we actually have to remove um, two of these bottom screws. They're called penelope screws. And we have to use a specialized screwdriver. So um, we're going to be taking out these two screws. And I will be showing you guys um, how to open a phone. And, and um, if you don't know what iCracked is, you can think of us as um, Uber for iPhone repair. And any, uh, in about 600 cities around the US, you put in a request and our technicians come to your home, office, or coffee shop and um, will fix the device on site. So it's, uh, it's a, basically an on-demand repair company. And so we do this thousands of times a day and I'm excited to, uh, to get in here. So um, we've removed the two bottom screws. We're going to use um, this specialized tool um, to take off the screen. So it's two suction cups right here. And then we're going to lift it. And you're, you're going to hear the adhesive um, start to uh, come off a little bit. So let's see if we can get into this. Mark, do we have any, uh, any questions? Um, let's see. I think we have some coming in here. Yes, uh, another question coming in here. Is wireless charging safe? Is it a fire hazard? What do you think? Um, I, I'll, I'll take that one. Yeah, you, you can, you can you play with that, that. So is wireless charging a fire hazard? Uh, it, you know, only if it's a Samsung phone, I would say. But in the <laughs> case, You had to go there. Yeah, but in case of the iPhone, I don't think uh, there's going to be a problem. I, I, I don't think they would you know, release it if it was going to be a problem. Actually, let me uh, tout next week's episode. We're going to be doing a big comparison of a bunch of different wireless chargers uh, next week uh, and comparing them all. And we'll jump into more detail on that. Another question, are there any available uh, Qi chargers that do 15 watt charging? And I think you, you were telling me how they're going to enable the faster charging yes. in a software update down the road. Uh, not sure when that's coming out, but there is going to be a software update that allows for the, the faster charging uh, down the road. So, so from, from the information I have, the fastest charging um, you can get on the phone is about seven and a half watts right. uh, with wireless charging. So and fast, is that with the software update? I, I believe so. So it starts with five out of the box, five watts. Yes. And then you can jump into uh, seven and a half watts down the road with that software update. And then later on, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can you know, upgrade maybe when they update the hardware to the faster one. Um, more questions coming in here. Does iCracked to fix iPads as well? Yes, absolutely. So we do um, all Samsung iPhone and iPad models. Right. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool service where someone comes to you. Um, I actually started the company seven years ago in college, and it was like one of the coolest college jobs where I would uh, I'd meet people in the dorms and then um, fix their phones, and it's since grown to about 3,000 technicians um, in a couple different countries. Right. Okay. So... Um, let's talk us through what we're looking at here right now. So what you see is AJ is, has opened up the phone. We have the two parts separated. 
and you have the battery right there. And well, how many milliamps is that battery? It's a bigger battery, right? Uh, so, it's a, so, it's, so it's a smaller battery. It's uh, about 10.28 watt hours. Right. Um, one of the things that's interesting on both the eight and the eight plus model is the battery capacity is about seven percent less than the seven but they say that there's much more optimization so it should be comparable to the seven being being about seven percent smaller so now that we have um, this opened up i can go over the components right. so we can see the vast majority about 60 percent of the internal volume is the battery, battery. you can see, see um, that here this right. is actually really interesting so this is called the taptic engine um, that's what vibrates when you press the home button so that like soft click um, is actually the Taptic engine giving you force feedback. And then we're gonna get into the camera and then the A11 Bionic chip right there. But first I'm gonna disconnect the Touch ID portion right here. And then I'll disconnect the battery as well because uh, that's the first, that's generally the first, uh, first thing we have to do. So and let's, uh, let's zoom in, let's take a, a zoom in about so we can get a closer look at inside the phone. Yeah, absolutely. And so the, what this is the back of the LCD and then you have your front facing camera, ear speaker and home button right here, um, which is the touch ID integrated. Um, so now that I've disconnected the battery, we're actually going to um, remove it. So we can see that the battery comes out right here. And the, the really interesting thing, um, if you can see this black circle right here, this why is why don't we take a closer look at the battery? There's people asking about uh, how the battery yeah. looks like. Let's zoom in a little bit more on the battery. Hold it up there. Yeah, so that's the Apple battery. You see the Apple logo there. And so um, we can see that there's one connection. Um, it's fairly light and um, it's generally um, not user replaceable um, unless you have uh, access to like high quality batteries to, um, to do replacements. We actually do the replacements on these. So in two years when you're um, starting to lose uh, battery capacity, uh, our iTechs can come actually do that replacement. Um, so right under the battery uh, is the wireless Qi charging. It's, it's spelled QI, but pronounced uh, Qi. And so this pad is a inductive coil that, um, that will actually take a oscillating alternating current and turn it into direct current um, to the logic board to actually charge the battery, which is, which is awesome. And that's what allows for the wireless charging. Yes. Right. And, and so what we're going to be doing now is switching screwdrivers to what's called a tri-wing driver. It's a proprietary... Um, screw head, and we're going to be removing the um, touch panel and LCD, and then uh, and then we can keep getting getting in here. What what are some other uh, questions coming in, Mark? People are wondering what happens if they try to do this themselves at home. Oh, would so it, so you it, recommend that? <laughs> so I actually, I mean, and that's I know how, you're biased here. Yeah, so that's how we actually got started was um, just like being a tinkerer and DIYers. Um, We've had about 100,000 people apply to be a technician with us in the last year. Wow. And so um, we, we are always looking for tinkerers and DIYers and people that- 100,000 um, people, that's yeah, a lot. No, it's crazy. Um, wow. we, we generally accept about one to 2% of those that apply um, and, uh, and then we'll provide training, but it, it, I, it is safe Tougher to- than Stanford. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, and more fun than Stanford. Yeah. So uh, what, what, what are we poking at right there? Is that the motherboard? So this is actually the- um, cable connecting your front facing camera um, and your proximity sensors that the proximity sensor is when you put your phone up to your face and it turns the screen off automatically right um, as well as ear speakers so I'm going to be disconnecting um, these guys now internally how, how is this looking someone's asking in comparison to the six and the seven which basically have the same basic design uh, as this model Let's yes so um, so internally, the, uh, the 7 and the 8 actually look almost identical. Wow. Um, it, what, what you're really seeing the main difference is, is the charging pad and then this glass back, which uh, we didn't cover. So this is a, um, glass, uh, a rear glass panel that can break, and, um, and it, there's aluminum and steel that's, that are holding it that's in place. That's the gold one, right? Yes. This that is looks a, really nice. It, it yeah. does. It's a, it, it, it feels nice. And it's actually about 10 grams heavier than its predecessor, the 7 Plus. Do you think that's because of the wireless charging? Uh, I actually think it's the glass, the glass and a little bit of the wireless charging. Right. Um, so what, what we'll do right now is we'll look at the fast charging port, which is right here. And is that an actual different component? That yes. They, okay. So it's a, um, it's a different component, and they used injection molded plastic um, hooked on there. And then you can see the Taptic engine. Oh, um, they even have the logos in there? Yes. In the and, yeah. and then the... Um, a11 Bionic chip, which is supposed to be their flagship uh, chip. It's one of the fastest smartphone chips in the market right now. And that's right one now. with the neural engine, the AI chip yes. that we wrote about. Yeah. 
And, and so that's actually under this shielding um, right here. But let's actually get into the camera because the camera um, is, is pretty interesting. And those so. are better cameras optimized for AR. And he's opening the Plus right now. So that's the dual camera. Uh, both with, uh, or on the 10, they both have optical image or video stabilization. But on this one, it's just still uh, one camera with stabilization and one regular with digital, right? Yes. And the... Um, the photography on this is just supposed to be absolutely phenomenal. Right. Um, we'll take some pictures when we get ours and uh, you know test it and take and, it through its paces and, and com camera. And compare them. That'd be awesome. So we just removed the shielding on the camera. And um, we can see that this is the dual, uh, the dual lens system. So it's a little bit larger than the, um, than the predecessor. And that's one of the more expensive components in the phone, right? Yes. And, and um, what, what most people may not realize is Apple's actually the largest um, camera company in the world because they they ship hundreds of millions of cameras in their um, their products each year and they, they take it very very seriously so the um, the people that are really serious about great photography um, I highly highly recommend uh, the eight plus right so what are you what are you poking at now still a camera trying to get it out of the, the casing yes yeah, so I'm I'm removing the um, shielding right here so we can see that so we can we can see now that the dual cameras so and you let's can zoom in so we can take a closer look at that Right. Yeah. So we can see the um, two cameras side by side right here, and we can flip that over. And and uh, Mark, do you want to talk about why there's two cameras for? Uh, right. So that's there's one regular lens and one telephoto lens. They both are 12 megapixel sensors still. One of them is like the main camera in any phone, and then a regular iPhone 7, 6, or 8, or the iPhone 10. And then the other one is a camera that zooms in. So what this allows you to do is have a manual zoom in 2x versus a digital zoom in. So that means you can go in, you know, twofold into the shot without losing any clarity because it's not using software, it's using the actual secondary lens. It also lets you do the bokeh effect when you take a picture. So it sort of blurs the background, it looks really nice, the portrait mode. And this one has portrait lighting as well, right? Yes. And, and so that, that is uh, accomplished through the True Tone flash, which I'm sure you can and talk about. And that's an updated flash, or is it the same component? So it's, a, it's actually an updated flash. And um, so, that, so Apple has a technology called um, True Tone which adjusts the lighting based on the scene that you're shooting in. And so, um, and so they also put that technology on their LCD themselves. So your screen is actually going to start adapting to the, your surroundings uh, based on the colors um, that it's displaying. And that's, that's through their True Tone software as well. Right, and how does the quality of the camera you know, sort of differentiate from last year's model? It's basically the portrait lighting, uh, the lenses are a bit better, the clarity is a bit better. And all that, right? Y yes. Uh, the, so a lot of the updates are actually through their software. Right. So as, as you mentioned, the, um, the actual specs are still um, the same as last year, but the photos turn out um, much better because they have much uh, better image processing accomplished through the A11 Bionic chip. Got it. Using the, the AI and all that. Yes. Um, so now that we've taken this down, uh, let's get into the, um, the iPhone 8, and we can look at the comparisons of, uh, on the insides if that work. Right. So let's move those to the side, and uh, you can see. I mean, it's just so so much stuff going on there. So why do they shield the motherboard? Why is there covering on top of that? So that's that's actually a great question. So the um, the first reason is it's it's a great thermal insulator to transfer um, heat away from the chips. Um, the second is for electrostatic discharge. So you want to protect the chips from any um, static electricity that may be coming across. And then it's also um, it's just protection from from bumps and uh, and hitting conductive parts of the. So frame. would there be any risk of ripping off the the shell on there? Um, you so you 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 would have to heat that up and grab um, grab some tweezers oh. um, uh, for that. Interesting. Okay, so let's move these to the side here and let's uh, rip apart uh, let's rip apart the phone. Yeah, absolutely. So this is um, this is also has a glass back. It's it's somewhat hard to see on the. Um, the difference between uh, the glass and then jet black from uh, last year, but you can definitely it, it feels different. And as as we mentioned, it's about 10 grams um, heavier than its predecessor. And so we're going to be um, opening this up and then comparing the insides of uh, this to the um, former model. And this is the the $700 base model one. The this eight. is so they they you wouldn't go for the 256 <laughs> to tear it open. You know I don't. Um, I, I don't understand the need for 256 really? gigs on a on a um, phone, given all the cloud services I use. Right. But so, what, what are you going to get for yourself? Um, I'll, I'll probably be You'll moving probably to the, the X yeah. when, when it. The uh, X when, or the 10? The 10. <laughs> 
What, what about you? Probably the 10 as well, but probably the 256. Yeah, the, um, the crazy thing is, is when you start to factor in um, pricing on the iPhone 10 um, with Apple Care and... Um, so w w what are we doing here? We're ripping open the... the so, this, so this is called a IsClac um, tool. So it's uh, dual-sided suction cups, and they called it IsClac because the um, Italian inventor, who's a good friend of ours, said that the sound when you open up a phone, it, the sound that the phone makes is clack. And so um, we're using it as to open it like as if it's a um, clamshell. And so we're going to be um, getting into there uh, momentarily. Cool. Now, is there a difficulty difference between popping open the small one and the big one? So the, the main difficulty actually comes from the adhesive. So Apple certifies their phones to what's called IP67, which is a dust and waterproof rating. And um, on the last generation of phone, you can actually take it swimming or in the shower um, if you're listening to music or weird. And, um, and so the adhesive, we can see on the 8 model, you, um, you, it follows this, this is perimeter. The plus, right? This is the 8 plus. And so you can see the uh, white adhesive right here. And then it's actually a dual um, type adhesive. And we have black adhesive following this perimeter, which actually keeps out the dust and the water. Um, and as well as uh, all the ports are Now, are, now to the best sealed. of your knowledge, is the adhesive any stronger than last year's models, the 7 and 7 Plus, or it, is it, it about it, the same? It looks, it looks comparable. Comparable. So I'm going to pop this open. And what AJ is doing is using a, this tool to get the, the front glass off in order to get into the phone itself. It takes a couple of times because of how strong the adhesive is, but he has this yep. special tool to, to get it open here. Wh get it open wh what, are, what are some other uh, questions we have? Uh, some people are asking about differences between the, the 8 Plus uh, and the regular 8. Uh, besides the camera, so it's basically uh, the the dual lens camera, one can yep. do the bokeh effect, the um, the deeper zoom, so you can scroll all the way to I believe ten times zoom or eight times zoom, spinning off your in regular pictures or video. Also the bokeh effect, so the portrait mode where you can sort of blur the background. Uh, the processor is pretty much the same and whatnot. Um, you want to go back to the 8 Plus? We can talk a little bit more about what we have in there. It looks like we're having what, some trouble opening up the 8. What, uh, <laughs> what, what is the bokeh effect? Can you explain that? So I take a picture of you, and it uses this software algorithm to sort of cut you out, and then it cuts out the background as well, separates the two. It blurs that background, then it puts you back in it. So sort of like I take a picture of you and sort of blurs the background behind you. It looks really nice, sort of like a you know high-end DSLR, like a camera. Wait, that's amazing. Does the same thing. You haven't used this? No, I, the bokeh I, effect. I, what do you I, use now? Uh, so right now I'm on a iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, so um, you do have the I, feature. I, I, yeah, I use I use portrait mode quite a bit. It's it's yeah, just, that's it's, what I'm talking about. Yep, portrait absolutely. mode. Portrait mode. There we go. Great. So we um, we have the um, iPhone 8. So this is the smaller model opened up, so we can put it um, side by side to compare them. Um, we got the adhesive uh, removed, so we can. It's it's hard to see on the contrast, but there's adhesive that surrounds that perimeter. Um, if you are going to have your phone repaired, make sure that you try to use a adhesives to to get that dust and waterproof um, rating back up. But I'm going to be disconnecting the battery, and and then we can um, we can kind of look at the difference in in sizes. Right. So highlights that we've seen so far for those just joining us, we've torn open the eight and the eight plus. We have them side by side here. Uh, AJ from iCrack is going through them and you can see slightly smaller batteries, and there's a smaller battery in comparison to the 8 Plus and the 8 as well, so you'll get quite a bit better battery life if you go for one of the Plus models. Uh, there's also a Qi charger in there, and that's for the wireless charging. We're gonna have an episode next week that goes into the charging with a little bit more detail, comparing a bunch of the latest chargers on the market for wireless Qi charging. We saw the dual lens camera system on the 8 Plus. We have the single lens on the 8, and right now, uh, AJ, well, you're taking out the battery? Yeah, so I'm disconnecting the battery Disconnecting right now. the battery, and then I want to show a size comparison uh, between the batteries and the different milliamp hours to show, you know, the more juice you're able to store in there, the longer the battery life is going to be. So um, now that we have the battery disconnected, we're going to be um, disconnecting the display assembly as well. And so um, just for size comparison, you can see that this battery um, looks probably about 40% larger. So this is the 8 Plus battery that we've removed, and we can see the um, iPhone 8 battery right there. It's its smaller, younger brother. Um, we can also see the Taptic engine, so we went over this. That's what. Let's, let's zoom into the engine because I, I don't think I want to. 
people who are just joining us to see to see that. So it's at the bottom of the phone. Yes. So um, we can see that. Uh, I'll I'll lift it up a little bit closer. So we can see that the Taptic engine. Um, right here, that's actually what gives you that force feedback when you're um, when you're clicking the home so button. So when you hold press into the into an icon for like 3D touch or the pressure sensitive yes. home button as well on these ones, um, there's going to also be a Taptic engine in the 10, right? Just for regular 3D touch e stuff. E yes, there is. And so you can see the Taptic engine is much smaller um, on the iPhone 8, which is is probably that's interesting. I was going to ask you do, in your use usage because I know you play with all these phones. Yes. Uh, are they? Is it less powerful? Like, does it feel less powerful when you're using the phone? You know, I, I haven't noticed a difference, but um, maybe I maybe I should pay more attention to that. You should well, let you, us know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually really excited for the um, show that you guys are doing, comparing the charging. I think that's going to be yeah, that's no, be that very should be a good one. Uh, good follow up to this. So when you crack open the battery, and let's zoom out so we can get a better look at what AJ is doing. Uh, I want to compare the size of the different Qi chargers in there. Yes. Hold on. So. Cracking out the battery. Are the batteries usually this difficult to, to get out? So the bat. So this things? is actually um, this is going to be interesting because we're going to have to remove these adhesives. So there's four um, tabs that's somewhat difficult to see right here that you actually peel back and then and then pull them out. So we're going to um, we can do that right now. Now you tear open phones from Samsung and other phone makers and all that all the time too, or is it just iPhones? Um, so we do we do just about every uh, every flagship phone. So I'm curious because Apple, you know, their fit and finish is one of their you know, the reasons they're such a premium brand, such a prime purchase for a lot of people. How does the insides, because they sometimes talk about, you know, they're very happy about how the insides look that nobody ever sees. How do the insides of these devices compare to like, let's say, the insides of a Samsung or someone else's phone? Is it really indeed cleaner and better put together internally? So that's actually, that's a great question. So you can, if you put a um, Samsung S8 up to an iPhone 8, you can, you can see that. And let's the, zoom in and take a, a closer look at that. What's going on. So, so you can see the design ethos of, um, of each company. Um, you can see kind of how their engineers think and, and where they place products, how the products connect with one another. Um, the, the iPhones, for example, um, they, they generally, um, they look I, like aesthetically more pleasing. Um, and I think that that just comes from the, the Apple's design beliefs where it needs to be as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside. That is very cool to see. So, so I'm, I'm removing the um, adhesive strips. So we have one down and three to go. So you can see that we're pulling out the adhesive um, that is connects that holds the battery um, on. So we got it's coming out. Now, what is the purpose of the adhesive strips? So that that actually holds the battery in place, so it doesn't move around when okay. you're when you're when you're moving your uh, the phone around. Now let's zoom out, and so we can get a wider shot. And let's compare the insides here when you get that other adhesive out yep, so between the two. And this is actually interesting. You can see here how this battery, I mean, you can just see the size of this thing in comparison. So this is the plus size battery. This is my plus phone. This is the 7 Plus here. You can just see uh, the size. And let's zoom in here so you can see that. Look how much of the battery the, the phone is, right, in terms of overall volume, in terms of size. I mean, obviously, it's very, very thin. It's, uh, you know, it's not paper thin. But maybe I don't know. It's 10 to 15, you know, strips of paper that uh, you can see there. But it does take up a lot of the volume. You can also see that it's time for me to get a new phone because of all the scratches on the jet black. But that's what the iPhone 10 is for in November. Let's zoom back out here. Do, have has uh, Apple confirmed a ship date on that? November 3rd, and uh, pre-order is October 27th. I was actually telling someone this morning that I can't wait uh, till November 3rd. Are, are you going to camp out with me? <laughs> Yeah, sure. If we come back here and do another teardown, I'll camp out with you. But we're not tearing open my iPhone 10. That's that's just for me. <laughs> that's amazing. Do you, what uh, what size or what size uh, capacity are you going to probably get? go for the 256? I mean, right now uh, I'm using over 100 gigabytes. It's interesting they removed the 128. If they kept the 128 configuration, I you probably, probably would have gone with that. Probably would have gone with the 128. Uh, but I know they're still selling the 128 and some of the older iPhone models. And we have uh, some more questions coming in here. Uh, how, does the, how do these cameras compare to some of the other phones on the market? Um, and for those just joining us, we're tearing open these iPhones here with AJ from iCracked. And if you uh, have any questions, send them in. What capacity are you going to get? We're just talking about how Apple split the new phones into 64 gig and 256 gig configurations. What are you going to get? What do you think of the iPhone's 10, iPhone 10's price? Are any of you planning on buying the, the 8 and 8 Plus? I'm trying to understand you know, what kind of people are in these audience? Are, are we all early adopters here? 
are we people who are willing to wait for the 10? I mean, I'm sure there's people watching this who probably are going to get both. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm curious to hear, and we'll talk about that. And so you can see AJ's doing, taking off some of the adhesive from the battery in order to pop it out, and then we're going to compare the size of the batteries. So keep sending those questions, and in the meantime, okay. so that uh, for us here. So what's going on here? We have the battery almost out. There we go. As you can see it's popping out. So there we go. Um, uh, so I don't want to damage the battery, so we're 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 gonna gonna get in here a little bit more. And obviously these things are difficult, but when we got out the the plus battery, we were able to get it out pretty perfectly. Obviously, there's more volume and more area to work with on this one. Um, see. So what tool is that that you're using to pop out that so, battery? So, so this is a um, iSesimo tool. For It comes from the name of like Open Sesame. Uh, and so we, um, we manufacture these with a partner. Um, I, d I don't actually want to damage the battery, so I'm going to hand it to one of our master technicians, see if he can do it. Okay, let's, let's pop back this 8, uh, this eight Plus internal. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Maybe. Are we able to put the phone back together? Yes. Let's do that. I think a lot right. of people would be curious. Awesome. Let's get let's let's put back this eight plus. All right. So we are going to put the um, the camera shielding back on right now, which we for those that missed it, here's the dual cameras. Oh, and one person saying they're actually watching this on a gold iPhone eight plus. Wait, so that's amazing. That we have some people um, chiming in. So the, the person who bought the eight plus, why did you get the eight plus? Why aren't you waiting uh, for the ten? Are you going to get both? What configuration did you get? We're really curious to know. Would, would people get both, do you think? Oh, I'm sure there's people who would get both. Wait, that's amazing. Yeah. I remember when the iPhone 4 came out, they had the black version, and then eight months, nine months later, they had the white one. I was one of those people who got both. Did you? And that's amazing. And the 4S came out, what, three months after that? So that was me. <laughs> um, absolutely. So we, we have the, um, the battery. Our master technician just popped it off, so you can see that adhesive. Um, and let, let's was, zoom in here and take a closer look at the at the batteries. Let's, AJ, let's show the size yep. difference between the Absolutely. two. Absolutely. So we have the iPhone 8 Plus battery right here, and then we have the iPhone 8 battery right here. Um, and then they, they are both able to be charged uh, via the lightning port or the wireless charging, which you can see are these two black pads um, on these devices. And so um, this, this is a 3.82 volt, uh, about 10.3 watt hour battery. And this is a 3.8 volt, about 6.9 uh, watt hour battery. So we and let's can... tie this thing up. Let's put the 8 plus back together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and show people, you know, your magic. Yep. So uh, we're going to be reconnecting the, um, the screen. So I'm going to move the 8 out of the. Uh... And let's zoom out here so we can get a little wider view with that. Mark, we got to, uh, we should do a, a uh, teardown where you're the one taking these apart. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can walk you through it. No. I, you know, I'll leave this to the <laughs> professionals. I'll break news. You you take open some phones and, and fix them. Have you uh, have you gotten your hands on a um, on one of the new Apple watches? Uh, no, but you know what? Maybe we should tear that open uh, next time. Yeah, apparently there's uh, the LTE connectivity is running into some issues. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I mean, it comes down to this bug where it tries to connect to unverified Wi-Fi networks. But most people that have been using it haven't experienced those issues. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to get my hands on some of these later today after this. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, the Apple TV, the iPhone, uh, and the, the watch. I've been preparing for this show uh, and some other new stuff going on. But we will. Uh, I will try those out. And follow me on Twitter. It's at Mark Gurman. I will be keeping you all abreast of my usage of the new LTE watch and the iPhone 8, uh, 8 Plus, and, and the new Apple TV uh, over the weekend and into next week. And hopefully we can uh, have a great episode on Monday where we're going to talk about the different wireless chargers for state, so stay tuned. Are to you guys going to do tests on that? We're going to do tests. We're going to open all of them, and we're going to, you know, jump between how quickly it takes for the phone to start charging when it gets on the pad, the length of the power cord, whatever the minutia. Wait, that's amazing. Well, the minutia of the wireless chargers, and a lot of people have iPhone reviews and such, so this will be a bit different. People are asking, how do I take advantage of the best feature of the new phone, which is the wireless charging? So we're going to compare all of those tools. Wait, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You should watch. So let's zoom in. I want everyone to see this because that's pretty amazing. So I actually haven't sealed it back up because I wanted to show that um, that you can still power the screen right. um, with it open. But I'm I'm going to be popping it in right so here. So basically, what AJ did in summary is he tore this thing apart. He took the battery out. He took out the cameras. He was messing around with it inside, and he was able to seal it back together. 
and it's fully working. Now, will Touch ID still work if it was set up on this phone? Um, yes, it will. So it doesn't affect the Touch ID. It's working perfectly, yep, right? Yep, it, it seems, seems to uh, have been a good teardown. Good. Well, good job, AJ. Yeah, awesome. And uh, thank you so much. And let's turn it back on so people can take another look and see. And AJ, I, I really appreciate this. This was great. It worked out well. Yep, we tore open the A and the 8 Plus. And we'll be back in November, right, to tear open the 10? Yeah, ab absolutely. I think that'll be great. So thank you for joining us. You can follow me on Twitter, at Mark Gurman. Please subscribe to our new Gadgets with Gurman Facebook watch page. It is, it is awesome. Thank you.